A few minor changes to state law could keep you a lot safer on the road starting January 1st. Action News anchor Corin Hoggard shows us changes for Uber and Lyft and some expensive new laws. The two cans of Coors Light in Robert Wing's car barely scratched the surface of the danger the Uber driver posed for his Super Bowl night passengers in Simi Valley. Wing had a .25 blood alcohol content when police pulled him over. I think as a driver they shouldn't be drinking at all. The whole point of Uber is to have a sober person to drive these people who are drinking home. Brian Watanabe has driven for Uber and Lyft and he supports the new state law making it illegal for people who get paid to drive passengers to have a BAC over .04. But he says police might bear the burden of protecting passengers because the rideshare companies aren't very proactive. Regulators in California and Colorado recently fined Uber for mishandling DUI complaints. But now the drivers could face serious consequences. So the .04 standard, if you're an Uber driver or a Lyft driver or a taxi driver, and you also drive trucks for a living, two of those, you're going to lose your commercial for the rest of your natural life. Defense attorney Scott Levy is expecting a lot of lawsuits from commercial drivers who lose their licenses and their ability to earn money, even though they didn't think they were impaired. Another new law makes it illegal to smoke marijuana in a moving car as a driver or a passenger. But Levy says, ironically, pot won't hurt your license. There is no DUI suspension for a marijuana DUI. You can drive stoned on heroin, on marijuana, on crack cocaine. It doesn't matter. There is no standard under NHTSA, which is the National Highway and Traffic Safety Administration, for any of those drugs other than alcohol. The tickets alone can still cost drivers thousands of dollars. Just driving is getting more expensive in 2018 because you'll be paying at least an extra $25 on your car's registration or renewal. And starting July 1st, bus drivers will face big fines if they have seat belts and passengers aren't using them. Corin Hoggard, ABC 30 Action News.